right guys, Neil here. Welcome back to Challenger Four Wheel Drive. As you know, we just got back from South Australia and I thought I'd give you a quick insight into Rawnsley Park Station because we camped there for four days. We stayed in the caravan park, so I don't have any knowledge of the other accommodation options, of which there are many, but I will list them. So this was during the Flinders Ranges, part of our South Australian trip. We set up at Rawnsley Park Station, and for four days used it as a base to explore what's known as Australia's accessible outback. That phrase is used because the Flinders are within a day's drive of a capital city, obviously Adelaide in this case. We came in from Hawker, which is the closest town, at the Rawnsley Park sign. You turn left from Flinders Ranges Way onto Rawnsley Park Road and you get this amazing view of Rawnsley Bluff as you drive in. What is Rawnsley Park Station? Well, it's a working sheep station still. They run a couple of thousand sheep, but the main business now is definitely tourism. And we're talking 20,000 visitors a year. It's an award-winning tourism operator with luxury eco villas available now, but as I said, we camped in the caravan park. We paid $41 per night for a powered site, and the unpowered were, I think, $29. Where is Rawnsley? It's located in the heart of the Flinders Ranges, right next to Wilpena Pound, 430 kilometers north of Adelaide, and 30 kilometers from Hawker, which, by the way, has a great pub. We spent an afternoon at the Hawker Hotel and can recommend it. In terms of distances, the location is ideal. Rawnsley to Wilpena Pound is a 23 minute drive, 25 kilometre distance. Rawnsley to Bunyaroo Gorge is just over an hour, 78 kilometres away. And Rawnsley to Blinman is also just under an hour at 78 kilometres away. The caravan park has a shop, a camp kitchen, a swimming pool and an amenities block. It is outback camping so you probably won't encounter any grass. I use screw-in tent pegs and they held really well. And with all that clean, fresh outback air, night photography is outstanding. We enjoyed it and I definitely recommend it for this part of the Flinders. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching.